Baltimore right here. You understand me? I'm just trying to give my flowers to my man right here while he can smell them. The OG Unique Mecca. I'm an original subscriber. You understand right. me? When well, my man had like 173 subscribers. Oh. When they thought he was just jobbing. Yeah. But I knew it was something about him though. Mm -hmm. So we just giving our flowers to Unique. You understand me? And all the good brothers right here. You understand me? Because we got to have a day for the good man. Everybody got a day, but ain't no day for the good man. Oh, I These like are brothers that. right here, and I just lost my father. Mm. You understand me? Another Rest good man. Peace. Another good yeah. man, 11 years, mm. straight to the door, no rat. Mm. You understand right. me? No homosexual. All you understand right. me? No medication. Um. None of that shit. Straight to the door. There you understand go. me? And this is for the real men. That's all. all right. what, 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 where we at? Tell we're in East at? Baltimore. East Baltimore, this you what it look like? You understand me? Right in the middle of East Baltimore, the heart of the shit. This is the Mecca. You know what I mean? With Unique Mecca, we in the Mecca. Right here. Uh, 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 you know what I mean? uh, With Unique Mecca, we in the Mecca. Right here. Tell them again. to the good men. East Baltimore, man. Hey. Uh, you know what it is, Unique Mecca Audio, man. I'm out here in Baltimore, man. I got the whole crew out here. I'm gonna let everybody introduce themselves, man. Daisy, Diddy, Tyrone, CC, B, E, Bo, E. Uh, we out here in Baltimore, man. I mean, I came down here because I wanted to see how they living. I'm getting ready to go to D.C. after this. And back in the days, I used to come up out here, you know, with Carlos and all them, you know, Carlos and everybody, and you know. Well, we was on Martin Luther King over there by the college. As soon as you get off 95, we did it, I think. How have it changed out here now from when, you know, from back in the 80s and early 90s? How did Baltimore change to you? Um, Hello? Money changed. Huh? What up, baby? That's the main thing. <laughs> Once money changed, salvation changed. How the money changed? You know what I mean? How the money changed? The money ain't there now. It ain't there. You know, we say nobody getting high no more, or nobody ain't selling no more. A hundred thousand is, is unheard of right now. A hundred thousand on the earth, of course. On a bad day. Mm. Now he, he no, told you talking about hustling. Right. You don't get that. Cause you know back in the day we used to sell like an eighth, and you know you had dudes making like little maybe ten, fifteen thousand a day, and they thought they was making a lot more. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, then you had real niggas that was moving and making a hundred, two hundred a day like it was nothing. You know what I mean? So, you know, we should send it down here to Baltimore. You know what I mean? Had a lot of people from Baltimore came up. Big shout out to Mookie, AJ. You know what I mean? The brothers that ain't here. You know, Bunchy, Levi. You know, I, I, I got a few comrades out here. Fat Sammy. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Ricky Duval. You know what I mean? Rudy Williams just interviewed him. But we out here on the block. Just want y'all to see what it looked like in Baltimore. So you can see how, you know, still unity, man. This out of old heads, Jill. Ain't nobody trying to snipe nobody. Ain't, ain't nobody sliding. You know, ain't no ops. It's just all family out here enjoying the good breeze and the weather, man. And, you know, this is what it's about. So I want the youngest to be able to see this and really understand what's going on. You know? So how do you feel about the youngins right now and the way they carrying on in the streets? Ridiculous how? Give me give me an example. Savage. Hey yo, excuse me, excuse me, y'all. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They like juveniles, they feel like it ain't no consequences. Action. See, he said the key word, they feel like it ain't no consequences. That's why niggas is ratting at an all-time high. Back in my days, a nigga told he got his head decapitated. I'ma get killed and everything else get killed. I think that's the way it move when you out here in the jungle and we talk about playing with the other side. It ain't no flip flopping and all that. That's why I call them rat bastards. To me, a rat bastard is a dude that he told and he want to hide that he told and then come sit amongst the men. You understand what I'm saying? Then when you catch him, then everything goes. You know, including decapitation. But y'all get away with that with the little comments and Twitter fingers because nobody know who you are. Right well, see, YouTube got it now where dudes make a, a email and then they go up on the joint. And once they on the joint, they can say anything they want. Nobody know who they are. They got a fake name, fake picture, everything, you know, blocking them. They feel like everything is separate now. 
but that's because, like you said, there's no yeah. consequences. Because there's no consequences. Yeah. You know what I mean? <clears throat> the city's so fucked up right now, man. We got cameras everywhere. It looks like a blue light district, man. If you fought wrong, they gonna see that shit coming out your ass, man. Mm -hmm. That's how fucked up the city is, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They got some. They got the, the few good men that just chilling, man, and trying to stay out the motherfucking way. You got cocksuckers. You know what I'm saying? I call them niggas cocksuckers. You know what I'm saying? But that's all they need to do. Suck dick. You know what I'm saying? Because them niggas are foul niggas, man. Mm -hmm. Nigga go to prison, man. You supposed to only know it's only one way, man. Mm -hmm. Once you get in there, you already know what it is, man. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, this shit is so crazy, man. We still got a, a, a good few men out here, man. That's real loud niggas, man, that do what they do, stay out the way. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to just just grow in all kinds of ways, man. But, uh, yeah. All right, but see, you said something right there. Let, let, let me interject. Let me introduce myself so you know who I am. My name is Unique, man. I had a store called Mecca Audio, you know, was the first studio, you know, in Harlem. You know, uh, record label, Kevin Childs had the boss record label, D. Ferg and everybody was up there. I was selling 25 kilos a day, you know, up on Washington Heights. You understand what I'm saying? 25 kilos a day, just in Washington Heights. That ain't got nothing to do with 8th Avenue. You understand? I opened up a club called Club 2000. It held about a, a thousand to 2,000 people. I named it Club 2000 because it was the new millennium. I went down to Miami and I saw girls, you know, dancing in the club and booty shaking and they had me so horny, popping the coochie, all that. So I wanted all my homies to see it. But it'll cost too much. You know, it'll be too much to um uh, all right, hold on son. All right. Yeah. So it'll cost too much to bring all the homies up I'm um, down in Miami. So what I did was I grabbed ten girls a week and I brought them to New York and I introduced them to stripping. This is when girls in New York was wearing jeans and 54 and they was wearing two pair jeans. Yeah, you already know. They was wearing the uh, Big Johns and the Edwins. Those were like slim jeans. They had no shape. They make but, your butt look good. But they make your butt look good because they slim. You understand what I'm saying? So now, you know, I'm down here and I'm seeing the way it's, it's moving. I wanted to come back to, you know, Baltimore and I want to talk to the real men that's cut from the same cloth that I know is not rat bastards. <laughs> you know what I mean? That could really tell you about what it's like, you know? So when he say that, you know, it ain't even 100,000 out here now. Back then, if a dude had 100,000, he thought that, you know, he was that nigga. I had a dude, I helped him get some money. First little 100, 150,000 he got, the nigga did everything shy of jumping on top of my pants. <laughs> you know what I mean? And tear my hood up. Talking about he got his own money now, he doing him, this and that. And while he's doing all that, you know, a week later he go up the turnpike, going down to Delaware, and the police took the five keys he had. Two days later he was back at me, telling me, dog, I don't know what came over. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like give him another shot. But that's how it is. But that's why when you make that bag, you gotta you gotta spread the wealth so everybody eat. You know, they know me in the town because I made sure everybody ate. I wasn't the only one eating. You understand what I'm saying? If everybody out here, everybody trying to eat, I'm moving 25 a day, what you want, the key, what you want, nine ounces, whatever you want, you got it. You understand? Just make sure I get my money. And I ain't trying to get no profit off of your money. I just want you to get your money, you know? And I'm not trying to lose money from you trying to get money. Because if you lose my money, then now you can lose something else that's very dear to you. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's the era I come from. You know, when Baltimore was running rapid, where everybody was shooting down. D.C., Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. You know what I mean? So, how they getting money now? What, what, what's going on out here now? Somebody tell me something. They're not just here, just on the street. Talk on here. Burger you know? says. <laughs> Burger says. Burger says. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Pills, right? That's pills. You know, right? They still take pills and all that? Out? Still take oh, pills, yeah. yeah. You ain't got to be making no fun for no pills. No pills. You can sit right here door over the door, your phone ring, that's a cell. You ain't gotta go nowhere, they don't come to you. Get out of here. Perfect sense? Way better. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Wasn't nobody taking no pills back in the day. Yeah, white people had that shit a lot. So that joint with little baby getting locked up with the uh prescription. I don't know if you heard no, about that's, it. No, that's NBA Young Boy. Yeah, that's it. And, yeah. Uh yeah, I said little baby. I just listened to him. I love little baby. Yeah, yeah NBA Young Boy. So that's the type of things you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, that and probably we have methamphetamine and fucking syrup and all that shit. So yeah. Syrup and doing it. Person that drag. Person that drag. What, what, they mix that with liquor? No, no, no. They're two different, they're two different hustles. No, yeah. I'm talking about to get high. How they getting high off? Yeah, you take yeah, the, you take the Percocet it. by, its, by itself. You take the it down, whole it down. by itself. That's what I'm saying. You they're wash it down. Drugs. They're two different things. I heard them say something. If a nigga take a Percocet and wash it down with some blood for the wing, 
Yeah, yeah. then again, they might be doing that. I'll, it no, no, I heard, sense, them, I heard right? them mention that on, on one of the YouTube videos. Both of them down us. So I'm trying to figure out what, what the youngest is out here doing now. Both of them down us. E pills, they're taking e pills, and e pills got fitting all in it. And they, they still taking e pills? I learned about e pills in 2005 out in California. You know what I mean? That's why I first heard about e pills. My man Marcus from down in um, Louisiana was telling me. That they take the, the, the e pills and anything they touch make them feel a certain way and this and that. They, they, they help us, purpose us down us. You know what I'm saying? So, so what that do to the girls? Which one? He's the one that the, the e pills. Yeah, they should have more. Yeah. No, because her to make them horny and things like that. That's why I'm asking. Horny than thou, motherfucker. Horny than thou, right? Yeah. They be geeked up. So, what's the one? I think it was the uh, e-pills they used to take and they, and they face lock up and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to lock you up. Like if you feeling down, yeah. take you and be feeling down and shit. If you just like, yeah. I'm taking e-pills, you feeling good, you usually feel good, you feel me? So it usually gets anything right. You usually go with your boo. I don't know. It ain't the same no more. Shit ain't the same no more. So you ain't know what's in the e I know, I mean, you got everything in e Yeah. But now, yeah, you know, everything in e was cool, yeah, yeah. whatever everybody was doing, yeah, yeah. they couldn't fit in there, man. I know, that's what I'm saying. I've tried that shit. Mm. So, they're throwing everything that's together. That's shit, y'all always killed me. All right, so, so, what's jumping off down here tonight? What y'all doing on the Saturday night? Four twenty. Fight come on tonight. Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. So, where everybody going to watch it at? We're going to be mad out. We're going to be mad out. It started at four twenty. Okay. There, so where's the fight at that is starting that early? What? Is it New York? Matter of fact, it's in New York. 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 Big it's almost 420 yeah. on that. So yeah, almost 420 is 345. You did? Yeah, almost 420. Who you about to play? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Who you about to play? I ain't here. 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 I ain't yeah. yeah, so you know, it's good. Yeah, he good. Is this the homies, man? Right? I know. This, yeah. this is blessings right here. You know what I'm saying? Trip, All I be saying street. is, you gotta put Fairville on the map. Bro. You already know, man. Let me tell hey, you yo. something, man. Let me tell you something about this street right here, man. You know. This shit is called Club Federal. They in the beach, This little? joint right so here, the beach, the beach around the corner. Okay. We got another little block we call the beach, right? See, me and a lot of these guys right here got a lot of paper together. You know what I'm saying? Especially my nigga Pete Diddy. You know what I'm saying? He ran with me for years. We got a whole lot of paper together. We done fuck joints together. We done had parties together. We went to the clubs together. We seen the strippers together. Talk to we threw paper together. This shit is, you know what I'm saying? We done did a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? And he's like a brother to me, you know what I'm saying? My nigga head, man. Me and him go way back, man, for playing the game outside. Having the game outside yeah, right on the right wall. Right there, and we playing the game, right? $200 a game. Yeah. And guess what? That nigga used to bust my ass. But guess oh. what? I used, to put, I used to put S on his ass. He used to bust me up though, you know what I'm saying? The fuck that's and over, the man, man. S, God bless you, man. That's over, man. Yo, that's over, man. That's over, man. That's over, man. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all, I get that over. Y'all reach off. Y'all love it. Y'all do your niggas stand around. This was all started for me back in 1980. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what he just said? Right. Hold on, hold on. I'm pivoting off of what y'all said. What he said? Yeah. Until them New York niggas came around. You know what I'm saying? That's what I love when they came See, around. Easy, easy money. That's why. Now, easy I'm, money. Now listen, listen. Yo, y'all slow up there. Nah, mate, I'm going somewhere. Listen. Y'all slow up there. He loved it. Guess why? Y'all slow. The nigga was so good in the fucking game. Y'all slow. The nigga was so good in the game, he used to whip our ass. I can't tell you. He used to whip our ass. Everybody ain't off the New York niggas. They the game. Look, yo, you know what's up with our ass. They got New York niggas when it comes to game. Hell yeah. Yeah, got three out of eight now. Yeah, yeah, and then we yeah, go to the bar and drink yeah, and shit yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, bro. Hold up. Hold up. Tell them what you said. Tell them what you said. Tell them what you said. I got Coke Gate. Best two places in the world. Sensor down. How much more for the sensor down? My teeth yellow on the bottom, so I know the rat bastard knows what I'm talking about. What they call? Hey, they four dollars a box, man. Four dollars. So, so what about the triple action? With that, yeah. I'm selling three for five. Yeah, that's probably three for five, five man. Alright, alright, so we're gonna make this real simple. We're gonna make it real simple. We're gonna make this real simple. I'm gonna give you $20 for everything. 
Put all this right here. You just said four eight. Hold that's like told that, 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 that that's more than that. My math is good. This taking 20 hours, bro. Nah, man, man. I'm gonna support your hustle, man. I don't want this shit. I might have lost three jobs. I ain't saying no more. 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 I ain't Damn. Light it up, get it. Yeah, my man. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know I got a homie out here. Uh, <laughs> uh, ain't no doubt. Uh, See, yeah, the homie out here, we can't hear that, but they selling that shit. Yeah, I, man, I, I, I got a homie. Hey, let me let you, let, let me let you talk to Thank one you, of the young bro. guys, man. And let, let one of the young guys say a few words, man, that grew up, that seen us out here when we was older. Now he's older, so he hangs around us now, man. I'm going to let the young man say a few words, man. Few Come words, up here, man. Come sit down. Come I'm going to give you my seat. Yeah, go I'm going to give you my seat. few words, man. Talk to him. Let me know about Baltimore now. Talk to him. Let me tell you about Baltimore right now, G. Okay. Look, we the young niggas out here, right? We been doing this. Coming up under the OGs, you feel me? Yeah. We still doing this shit. It's slow money, but it's the good money. You hear me? Safe money. Yeah, safe money. You hear me? I'm right, do this to you. I'm 37. All right, 37. I turn 60 next week. You know what I mean? I was coming back down here from in the early 80s. Yes, when he mentioned about New York niggas was sweet, yeah. I wanted to speak on that because huh? they loved them down here because they felt they were sweet. Yeah. But yeah. right across the tunnel over in DC, a lot of them was going back in body right. bags. Because yeah, we came down here thinking that yeah, being that New York is the flying city, everybody's family. Yeah. You know what I mean? And rest in peace, a lot of people learned the wrong way. You know what I mean? Because they got gangsters. You understand what I'm saying? Of all walks in life. I know female gangsters. I know homeless. I know he cipher, monkey cipher. Gangster, right? Uh, right? You know what I mean? Get a wear a dress, you know, pull it up and beat you down. You know what I mean? In front of all the homies, Real you shit. get out of line and don't, don't, you know, don't, don't forget that still he's still a, a man. Yeah, he's still a nigga, right. You understand what I'm saying? Real shit. You understand? So, you know, that's where I'm at. So you talk about how we were sweet down here. They hated us across the world. You know what I mean? But they hated the ones that came out here thinking. I was down there. I was in Southeast. You know what I mean? Over there in Simple City, East Gate, you coming through the back of the Road, you know what I mean? From over by City. Uh, right, 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 right. So you already know. I done been through all these joints. Like I said, I was selling 25 a day. That wasn't just in New York. I was selling another 50 down the highway. Because that's how we was born right. back then. You get the yeah, right man. connect, you get flooded, you do what you do. You know? And the main thing you do is you keep your word, you don't disrespect nobody, and you don't rob nobody. You know what I mean? If you're going to take it, you take it. Robbing somebody, get a nigga pack, and then you want to hide when it's time to pay them when nigga catch you and throw scalding water on you and hang you up in the pipe in the basement, you know? Rest in peace. Those of y'all from Brooklyn know who that happened to. So, you know, and why that happened. And they thought it was savage. No, but it was savage to play with another man's money. Because you can't tell a man how far to go for his money. You ain't got no more You know what I mean? Dude took his work, didn't want to pay him. He running around hiding, playing games, dipping and dumb. They thought it was sweet. Homie caught him, tied him up in the pipe in the basement. That's just real life. That's Hot small and water out the ball on him. That's one thing you, you don't do, pay with never nigga money. Because you don't know how far he don't go for it. Yeah. And it don't matter how much it is. You know how you do it. Dude, you go in the store with a dude and he say, man, I, 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 ain't got, I, ain't got, I ain't got no change on me. Let me get a dollar for a loose, I'll get, I get back to you. No, no. You know what I mean? Not check. You get it to him, he leaves. Every day you see him, he ain't got the dollar. It's only a dollar. You know, but every time you walk away and don't say nothing about a dollar, because it's only a dollar, he telling the niggas around, that nigga, I want right. some money, he's scared to ask me, a dollar. You understand what I'm saying? Then now, when you find out, then you decide to make an example out of him. You know what I mean? And then you chop his ass, something out of Jamaica, so we said chop him up. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't shoot up nobody, we just chop him up. You know? You want to, you want to, you want to, I'm not into that no more. Just, 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 just give me what's going on. Let's keep going. Huh? You can't be mad. You can't be mad. Right. You can't be mad. You can't be mad. You can't be mad. No, 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 but, but it, it don't matter. He's supposed to know who he's dealing with. Cause don't tell me you're going to give me mine's back. You understand what I'm saying? If you got no intentions of giving it back, because now I'm going to take it as far as I want to take it. That's what you're trying to say. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, you come get in this so you understand it's a gangster conversation. But I'm letting you know, you take a nigga money, 
You understand what I'm saying? You don't pay him. You can't say he foul. You know, God forbid, if he kills your mother. If he kill your mother for that dollar. That's you know what I mean? The civilians say that's foul. Nah, your mama should have raised a better boy. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody feels different. You don't know how far they're going to go for it. You know, we're in the heart of Baltimore. We talking for real. I remember when this the killer. I remember when AJ was out. You understand what I'm saying? Mookie was out here. You understand? Levi was out here. Ricky Duval was out here. Fat Sammy was out here. You understand? When they had gangsters out here, they took all the gangsters off and they became a new breed. You understand? Without the gangsters for a role model, because we had role models before us. We had Guy Fisher, Underwood, Bat Ross. You understand what I'm saying? We had men that we looked up to that knew how to move. So that, you know, just like a child. I'm in a, I'm in a uh, weed spot with my son. I'm sitting down. And this girl said, man, look at him. And I looked over, my son sitting there just like I'm sitting holding his crotch. <laughs> so you know how niggas sit down and just, you know, relax. My son's seven, that's how he's sitting there. That's because they watch everything. You understand? So when, yeah, so when they took the fathers out, there was only the mothers to watch. And that's why we got a lot of emotions right now you that I came home to. Yeah, the fucking system. No, the system. Bro, I'm, nah. The system did that to the black man, bro. No, I know that, bro. bro. You said yeah, that he no, he said the system. No, you the system. The system. The system. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That means that you got patience with your son. Yeah. So when you get back to the gang, you get all that shit. Yeah. That shit started. Cut off. I don't want to take that with your son, buddy. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You got patience with your son. Yeah. But as you say, there's a lot of men out here, right? Yeah. There's a lot of men out here. There's a lot of males out here. Men that way. A lot of men really gravitate to the youth. You really step in like how you talking, but a lot of men like this won't really go in them corners and really, yeah, drop that jewel or really, yeah, put it in their head. Like, you feel me? Show them otherwise. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I grew up on the cuz, cuz mm -hmm. that's my family right there. Yeah. You feel me? Like, OG and all that, big bro and all that. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't have patience. Mm -hmm. With their own chair. Mm -hmm. So how can you have patience with anybody out here trying to pick? You feel me? Mm -hmm. Get them to encourage them to do other shit. You yeah, get what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm spitting some real yeah, shit. No, no, yeah, yeah, 100% real. That's, that's real. 100% yeah. real. That's, that's real. real. But ain't nobody got patience with their own chair. Nah, that's them. Yeah. Why is it? I'm just saying. Yeah, but a lot of people. They ain't got patience. Yo, everything you said, I respect everything you said. You ain't got You got a half time, half fathers out here. Yeah. That's why the youth out here or young niggas out here really good at you. Yeah, don't give a fuck. Because they look at the role models like you say, old right. things like, yo, this is shit that y'all put us in. This is shit that we grew up watching. Exactly. Just like you said, you're saying, watch it. Yeah. So when we were here, when we, like you just yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, you yeah, watched yeah, him, this the young ass from y'all, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We watched him. But yeah. like you just saying, you know, like, yeah, 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 my yeah, son is yeah, born. Yeah, shit, that's real. Shit, that's real. Real. You gonna spit Everything you said, right? Right? Everything you said is true. Right? 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 The mathematics in the struggle to survive out here. And that's what it is. This is what I'm saying, right? Like, get right, was built up respect, like big guns right there, big guns right there. Like, everybody right here that I know that day, they built that bond with everybody right here off of respect. Then it went to love. Then it went to love. Then that fear come down and really, our generation ain't like that. Right, right. Oh, yo, we from West, yeah, I fucking show who the fuck is again. All over, man. Niggas ain't building no respect with mm. They give them back door. You feel me? Check out. Check out. We got so much about the money, it ain't built up no respect with them. You feel me? We got to build respect. We got a joint in New York that we do every summer about August called Heaven Up in Harlem. You know? That's for all the brothers that died that's in heaven that's up in Harlem. And you know what? Say it again, big dog. Say the right word. Don't nobody want to keep that shit real. Don't try to be good. Don't try to be something else. And you ain't even like that with your kids.
Right. Yo, check this out. Man, yeah. you ain't got patience with your kids. So if you ain't got patience with your kids, you ain't got patience with a relationship. Mm. I mean, you ain't got patience with yeah. getting money or whatever, bro. How you gonna try to teach me something to do something that you ain't doing? Right. Like, let's talk about it. Mm. You, I ain't gonna it. listen to shit that you talking about. Because I ain't saying nothing that you, you showing me. Right. You ain't showing me no progression. Nothing that you telling me that you trying to obey. I'm not gonna sell these packs. Huh? Prime is like, just like the squeeze you still. Oh, yeah, we gonna help y'all with drugs. Man, I ain't listening to nothing. Y'all talking about this ain't blood. What the fuck you talking about all that? $90 for one week? I'm not gonna sell these packs. Like, make it make sense, bro. Make it make it sense, man. Have a common sense. You know what's so good about what you just said? What's that? Like, that's what's happening in the Stay in your lane. Mother don't got no patience. They need to stay in their lane. You feel me? You know? Like, this shit be crazy out here, bro. And I got two daughters myself. Listen, so I, I know. Listen, I come home. I come home in 2020. I'm going to come home in 1993. I ain't going to come home. I'm 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 going when I left and I came back, only thing I noticed different people, you, know, you know, about the structure, they had windows. The buildings didn't have windows. They was abandoned when I was out there. You know what I mean? They was abandoned when I was out there. I come out, they got windows. And they got white people out there in Harlem. And Asian people walking dogs three in the morning on Bradhurst. Bradhurst is the block that allegedly they said that preacher was putting the dead bodies in. When he went to prison, they dug out a building and was finding bodies all in the walls of the building. That joins the burial ground. They couldn't give me a apartment on that block because I know the history of that block. You know? But I see white people and Asian people walking through there and they feeling comfortable because they don't know their history. So that's why they try and cut people like me off that know. So if them Europeans knew that in that same apartment they lived in, there was eight dead bodies that got chopped up and you know what I mean? They're mutilated and then doing them in the same in your apartment. That's just like that's just like right here. They knock this shit down right here. This shit is a bar right here where we at. Mama, they yeah. see crap and shit right here. Right here. The yeah. Lamp post right here. Lamp post. Crap right here. You know what I mean? It's in a bag. Right here. They just deteriorate that yeah. shit. When they figure out a way to bring the white people in here with the money, yeah. all you niggas gonna be out. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. They ran yeah. us out of Harlem, man. Everything gonna be out, bro. Harlem is totally different. Yeah? Yeah. Harlem, that's that's, that's what they call it, regentrification. I'm telling you. Walk down Harlem right now. Uh, we up right now. Listen. You be fucked up. Listen. 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 Yeah, you be fucked up. Let me say this. Right? I'm looking around right now. Let me say this. Right? I'm looking around right now. nigga out here with flip flops. I see niggas in New York with fucking flip flops on their feet. What are you doing outside with flip flops? What are you gonna do? Right. It, you know what I mean? Shit go down. Even if a car get out of control. That, 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 that's because they, they don't consider outside the yard no more. Oh, oh, you know what I mean? Outside they consider the yard no more. Yeah, yeah, the cross. Hey, OG, you know, yeah. This is GTA Sam about this bitch, right? It's a lot of it. GTA, they think they ain't grand enough for the world. Yeah. yeah. No bullshit. Yeah, they don't think they're grand enough for the world. They're just walking around with flip flops, man. That's a lot. When niggas was letting you know that out the yard, you feel me? When niggas was letting you know you was out in the yard, you wasn't wearing no flip flops. Listen, none of my homies wear flip flops in New York. If I ever seen them with flip flops, I'd never talk to them again. That means they all the way sleep. That means you're dependent on the police to protect them. The police feel like they can't protect themselves while they police them. And you got people that believe the police can protect them when the police know they can't protect themselves. So dudes out here got guns bigger than me. I was in New 
York City in the 70s when they had 38. That's what the police had. 38, they didn't have automatic. They had to go. And then we started to get 9mm shots. You know what I'm saying? I bust off by them. Yeah. Then now they understand. They run out of bullets, they got to stop to put them in one at a time. Yeah, they they got to get clip, yeah. And we just pop another clip and keep it going. My man came and sent me an AK-47. I said, what I need that for? I got a clock. I made it with 21 shots. What I need, what I need that for? Yeah. You know what I mean? I got 21 best friends with this. So I don't need no, I don't need no, 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 no limousine to drive them in. That's what I consider them, them choppers. If you're going to do work, you're going to go up on a nigga and do work. You don't stand across the street and shoot innocent kids and everybody else. That's coward shit. You know what I mean? Say it again, Bob. That's coward shit right there. Yeah. And, 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 and that's why we're doing this video, so we let y'all know it ain't worth it, man. Not trying to disrespect y'all, but we did it for the bag. You know, now they doing it because of what block you live on, what color you wearing. You know what I mean? Bag was worth it. You see what I'm saying? Bag ain't never worth it. The crazy thing is, I ain't seen no way where they using them switches to go get the bag running up on no. No, they just killing each other with it. I can't go. And you, look at Chicago. They sitting back. They gonna let them kill off each other. They say it's a war zone. Sending the National Guard, put all them out, tear down them buildings, and build some brand new joints. Right. You know what I mean? And bring in new streets. Right. I was in Chicago. They got a joint, I think it was Federal Street or State Street, right around the corner from where Michael Jordan played, where they had his statue out, walking distance. You don't think them Europeans got their eye on that? Yeah. You don't think they got, and it's right by the highway. Nah, they can be falling, bro. You know what I mean? Europeans can be falling. You know, oh man, like I said, we, we I don't even want to get into that topic because this election is gonna be something else. <laughs> this election, you think the last election was something, you know, not whether he win or lose, he, he's claiming victory and he's taking it, he's taking it. And if they try and stop it, then you already know what's gonna happen out here, not wishing it, but just saying. That's the way my prediction is looking from the way I see the conditions. I was in prison for 26 years with Aryan Brotherhood, skinhead, dirty white boys. You know what I mean? The militias, you know? And, 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 and not, 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 not to disrespect them, not to give them no props, just speaking facts. They bloodthirsty. In the prison, the white dudes was more bloodthirsty than any other race, and then came to the Serena. When I say bloodthirsty, they just want blood. Every day in California, the deuces run off. The deuces is that button that the police hit for the panic button. And we know that deuces. When the police know about panic. The deuces. You know what I mean? Every day, and they had no problem on turning on the peoples in there. That's I was crazy, there when they killed the cop. Out west, I gotta see the AB shit and all that shit more. more yeah, it's out, more it's out. It's but more that's what out. I'm saying. And they bloodthirsty out you know, there. They make an example because it's not a lot of them out there. You're more, you know, it's a handful of them on the compound. So they got to show the other races, don't play with us or else you're yeah. going to lose your life. You're East not going to get a that, fight. You're not going to get a stabbing. You're going to lose yeah. your life. And that's it's how they make it. The you know? East Coast is that they stay under, under Now, but with the East Coast got right. so many prisons and the mentality of the East is so <laughs> different that they could come out here and stay in their cells. Yeah, they but out west, around. it don't matter what they do, trouble finds them because they always they got one crash dummy in it. Yeah. That's why I say don't get involved get in the gangs around. because if one person in your gang go out there and break in somebody locker, now you got to go fight for him. And he did wrong. Nobody else was going to do it. When I was in Oregon, oh Lord, them motherfuckers was goddamn. Goddamn, that shit motherfuckers out there, them ABs and shit. You know, so that's where we at, man. But yeah, man. even this here, just looking around, look like they forgot this joint. You know, like they forgot East Baltimore. A lot of the joints start a little run down. You move around anywhere else, you see everything in the Oh, 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 Fresh out the can of 20
26 yeah. He back on the strip uh -huh. Getting back in the mix yeah. What he mentions a gift Trust. You stand up ten toes down And I suggest you pay attention to this Real. Take a little gully posse and put it in home uh -huh. He cut from the bottom Back. Came up from the bottom Back. Drop the book, you should go and get it The Instagram page and the YouTube You could go and visit yeah. Then you could consider yourself linked in Real. Sit front row and get juice from a kingpin uh -huh. How he went through it so you ain't gotta go do it uh -huh. Did not pay attention would be stupid Talking about a man that probably put your grandfather on Probably the reason that him and your grams got along A man that generated millions on the block Did his time, never squilling to the cops make an audio Get it live like two G's in the ninth. Yeah. Drop top beamer so shine. Yeah. I let shorty go, she was wine. Real. Treat her like my past, she behind me. What? Spend a couple bands on the dapper dan. Oh. You be back again, getting green like a Packers fan. Clint. No cap, Clint. it's a roaring uptown. Yeah. They be horn uptown, Dominican bust downs. Word. Now we on the positive. Word. You we got a lot to give. Yes. Now you trying yes. to stop the kids from being an operative. Uh. So take uh. heed, homie Linda Ed. Uh. He started in uptown, he gon' finish dead. Uptown. But up now it ain't about selling drugs, buying cars It's nope. about buying property to make the community yard So we can give back to the youth them Cause they the truth them And bless up to all the rude men